kitten. You can see a couple of them here. Karate chopping, riding a motorcycle, and holding a gun without a shirt. They're selling on eBay. So, Todd, now you know what you're getting for Christmas. You're totally going to have that in your office when you come back here on December 26th. Julian, thanks. Uh, President Trump timing his tax reform plan as pro jobs during a visit to Indiana. We will cut taxes on American businesses to restore our competitive edge and create more jobs and higher wages for American workers. Also with us is Aaron Williams, a father of two who works in the field of information technology. Aaron has seen the disastrous effects of high and just literally high corporate tax rates right up close and personal. Businessman Aaron Williams getting a, a shout out there. You just heard from President Trump after sharing some of his ideas on tax reform. He is the director of field marketing and analyst relations of the tech company called Top Coder. He joins us now. Hi, Aaron. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, thanks for being with us today. Hey, good morning, Kelly. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Well, let's let's kick off with talking about what uh, when you hear your name being mentioned there by the president and and your feelings on his tax reform plan. Uh, how did this all come to pass that you had a chance uh, to share your ideas and your thoughts with the president of the United States? It's always a cool thing and an awesome opportunity uh, to be able to work with the president in the White House. Uh, and when you think about the work uh, that our company Top Coder does, uh, we are impacted tremendously uh, by this tax reform. We work in the tech sector and we're all about, you know, recruiting and having the best talent available to us. And in the tech sector, you know, you can work anywhere in the world uh, as long as you have a laptop and a cell phone and an internet uh, connection. But we want that talent to reside here in the United States to help grow our economy, make it stronger, make our is better. Well, let me ask you the nuts and bolts question. If this tax reform plan goes through, how will you take that money and use it to benefit your specific business? So one of the biggest things that we'll be able to do is, is make an immediate investment in our hair account here uh, locally within the United States. Uh, we can take uh, the incentives and the breaks that are going to be implemented by Congress uh, and the Senate and say, hey, we want more headcount here. Uh, and when we are able to add headcount, we're able to help companies. So anything uh, that is a catalyst that helps companies do more, uh, innovate more, that allows them to fulfill their tech needs that Top Coder can fulfill, that's a win for us. You know, I was talking to our CEO, Mike Morris, yesterday specifically about this. Mike, what would we do with this additional headcount? And to be able to help, you know, some of our largest clients accelerate their growth and help, you know, with projects that they're working on, that's going to be a win for us. There's no sense in us taking the, uh, you know, additional income and and just throwing it back into, you know, other accounts. We want to make those investments here, and that's going to be the first thing and the top priority for us. So, Aaron, they gave us a, a little information. We knew we'd be talking with you today, and some of that info was that you're not a long-time partisan by any means, not deeply political. Uh, so why, why this plan? Why now? Why do you think now is the time? Now, since I'm here, we haven't had tax reform since uh, the 1980s, and uh, one of my biggest pet peeves that I always tell, you know, my team is, you know, whenever you hear the, the term, well, we've always done it this way, that's part of the problem. The time to reform taxes, the time to help grow the economy, the time to continue to help small businesses grow, the time to help companies like Top Coder uh, innovate and go to the next level, that time is now. We can't wait. It is a true bipartisan uh, issue. It's not going to be oh, the Republicans did it, the Democrats did it. It's time for everyone to unify. It's time for the country to unify behind this plan. And it's going to help the, you know, the average taxpayer, the, the average middle class uh, person who's paying taxes. It's going to put more money back into their pockets. When we're fueling uh, growth of our economy, it's a win for all. So you talk about the timing. There couldn't be a better time than now. Aaron Williams, thank you so much for joining us here. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I think all of us across America would like to see small, medium-sized businesses flourish in the coming year ahead. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. All right, chances are you are bringing a side dish to Thanksgiving dinner, but Chuck Schumer wants you to bring that, that card right there instead to attack Republicans. Huh? And if you are already preheating 